18 seconds still for the duo with five kilometers to go to the finish. One more little word between Impey and Benot. It's the sort of move that needs to stay together and working together right to the very last, though, isn't it? Well, I think uh, Tish Benoit will walk with uh, Dal Limpi there to a point, and I think then he will start, you know, trying to play the game. He knows that, you know, with just with two men, as we can see, Roach just out front here, so he's starting to, uh, yeah, lose time. He's going to be pulled in by the four chasers here. So, yeah, I'd be surprised if Tish Benoit right to the end because he knows with Dal Limpi, he's going to have no chance in a straight out sprint. So, just ride so far and then start playing about with it and make him do all the pulling in the final kilometre. Nicholas Roach taken in by the chasing quartet, who now become five. Roman Bardet's home roads adventure is at an end, and calm restored to the main group with Michal Kwiatkowski on the front. This is Jonathan Castro Viejo at the back. Movistar making sure that Quintana, Landa, and Valverde are there. Now we're seeing 13 seconds, 14 to this group now. This is not over yet, with just over four kilometers remaining. Mitchelton Scott with an opportunity to take a first tour stage win since 2016. Three stage wins from seven appearances for them in the Tour de France. Two in that brilliant 2013 where Impey had the jersey for a couple of days, as we mentioned, and one three seasons ago. Lotto Sadar have won as recently as yesterday. It's fast becoming the tour of the Dutch speakers, isn't it? The last three days have all been won by native Dutch speakers, Belgians or Netherlanders. And Tish Benoit trying to become yet another. Second group on the road, still at 14 seconds. That's another Dutch speaker. And the Fleming, Jasper Sturven, who leads them on. Now Soler, the Catalan rider in the blue. Tratnik, the Slovenian, with a, a very quick turn. Before Narsen takes it up on the left-hand side. And Oliver Narsen trying to bury himself at the front. Big training partner of Greg van Avermaet and company. Tish Benoit does his training close to his home in Ghent, and this is splitting up behind now. <laughs> there are some tired legs out there. Yes, I think uh, a lot of tired bodies and... Uh... You can see there, you know, the moment somebody puts on a push on the front here of the five-man group, yeah, we can see the gaps appearing. And you could see already, you know, they were working together, but not really pulling back uh, to the leaders out in front. And that tells you that everybody is just tired. But you have to just go and keep, keep on working here. But the two, two, the, the two men out in front are really working together. And as we go inside of uh, 2.5 kilometres to go, 16 seconds in advance is looking good. If they continue on walking like this, you know, up to the final couple of hundred metres, well, then it's difficult to see the two leaders being pulled back. Two kilometres remain. It's Darrell Impey who flicks his elbow and Dish Benot who comes through. Mitchelton Scott and Lotto Sudal both represented. They have 17 seconds and growing on the pursuers. Four riders behind with the remnants of the breakaway now out of the game at over a minute and a half down. The yellow jersey and company at almost 14 minutes down. Sagan and the king of the mountains, Tim Wellens, at almost 18 minutes down. It's been a tired, tired day on Bastille Day, the French national day, here on the way to Brioude for the first time ever on the Tour de France. Into the barriered sections as we come into this small town of 7,000 people. Andrew Talansky was the winner when we came with Paris Nice in 2013. A young Roman Bardet with sixth on the day. We've got a younger rider, but extremely talented rider here in the red and white in Tish Benoit. We've got one of the most experienced men in the peloton looking for number 25 in terms of victories in his career. That's the South African national champion, Darrell Impey. And they're coming into the final kilometre now. They have the gap. Who is going to take the win? Impey still rides, Benoit on his wheel. They twist and turn and go to the line. It should be between these two here now, and they're still travelling at above 40 kilometres per hour. Don't expect Benoit maybe to do another turn here. Let's see. 750 metres to go. And they're a good 250 metres ahead of this group in front. A look behind from Impey, and understandably, Sean, it's Benoit who's sitting on. Yes, well, he's going to try and sit on, but I think uh, it's... Uh... 
very late because almost to the 500 metres to go here with Impey in front is going to be very difficult to see uh, Tush you know, taking Impey in a straight out sprint. We know Impey is a finisher. We know Bernard is a huge talent. We've got 400 metres to the side this one. There's a group gaining behind as the French fans on holiday on Bastille Day bang on the boards as we come into Brioude. It's Impey, the South African champ. It's Benoit, the Belgian star. And it is the Belgian on the right-hand side who launches it. It's Benoit at the front. They're going to make it two from two for Lotto Sudal. Behind him, Impey has overtaken. But he's going to come round on the right-hand side. It's been three long years for Mitchelton Scott. But they have it. Impey has it. South Africa has its stage win. Darren Impey, for the first time in his career, is a Tour de France stage winner.